All right, here again with Angelo's Angelo's Edge. Got a knife video. Uh, that thin feather fur yesterday or the day before, one of those days. And uh, I like going there, popping every few months, see what they have. Usually they have, uh, they, they buy a lot of knives. So uh, sometimes have clearance sales. So I like to go pop in there and see what they got, look at stuff and they had some cool stuff, but of course, like usual, about every two months I go in there and I found this uh, Shrade. I know it's a cheap knife, but it was 10 bucks. I have to look it up, but it said it was $20, $20 off, but I don't know about that. But but I, it was nine ninety nine. so it's a, one of these Shrade knives. Uh, but what caught my eye, it, just, I, it looked cool. Uh, but it had, uh, the 9CR18 MOV, uh, so, and it had bearings, so that kind of was, yeah, 10 bucks, and then after I got in a truck, I was looking and seeing it had some little extra stuff that I thought was cool, but here's a breakdown on the box, what they say, Let's see, blade length is three point, I think it's, let me pop up here and look, 3.8 inches, Close length is 4.7, 4.7. Weight is 4.3, kind of on the heavier side, but it's aluminum with steel liners. Ultra guide technology. Uh, that's their, there's a way of saying uh, bearings. Of course, the 9C, uh, is that, I thought it was CR, but it's, so yeah, CR18 MOV steel. So it's a little better than your 8CR or your even, it should be a little better. And it has uh, some type of Thai nitrate blade coating, kind of like uh, what's, I think the Camus, they say they have some type of, like the Camillus, they always say they have some type of titanium bonding. I think that's, I don't know, that's what they say. And liner lock and a pocket clip. So there's like a picture of their bearing technology and ultra smooth. So I got it out. And, uh, and I popped out and there's what it looks like. So, man, this, I don't know, hopefully you can see it. I would think so. Hmm. Lay it on a paper towel just in case it's, uh, it's a great background. So it's a great knife. Let's see, here we go. Lay this paper towel down. Let's see if that helps. There we go. I don't know. So... Like I said, it's a shrade, and the first thing I noticed, I didn't like right off the bat. I, I cut it out of the package, and I had trouble shutting the blade with the liner. So I wasn't happy with that, so I, I'll show you what I did to correct that. I uh, actually got in here, and I shaved this aluminum down to the actual frame, so I have room to put my thumb and catch the liner so I could shut it. So, see that? Yeah, so I kind of took, I had a uh, a multi-tool has like, I don't know, some, some type of leather thing, and it just shaved that aluminum real nice and easy. So I kind of did that. So it, was, it has the, all the rubberized coating, so you can see it, it has a real nice fill to it. Uh, it said that it had that, and I forgot. I didn't even notice that at the time. I had a Camillus, uh, Horizon, it just reminded me of it with these uh, sunburst kind of looking things. I thought it looked cool. Uh, so, and I did I did loosen the pivot up a little bit, pivot screws. They're, they're T8s too, they're kind of, but I loosened it up so it, and it, it's no blade play, even though I loosened it up. So now it's, it's basically drop shut, it flies out. So let's, Go over. Let me go over the blade. I believe it's a, a not quite a worn cleaver. I think it's more of a drop point. It has that little hump right there. So if it didn't have that hump, I'd say it don't be, be a spear point. But like I said, it has a rubberized uh, coating on the uh, aluminum scales. Nine CR eighteen MOV. It's a uh, tip. Pocket clip only, 
little shape, kind of like a like a point. It's trying to make it a little fancier, I think. I don't know if they made it look fancy or looks tacky. I don't know. I haven't. Fig- I haven't really. Hasn't really. Uh, I don't know. I it has. It don't look bad, but it. I don't know if I like it, but I think it might grow on me. And it has the back spacers, probably some type of. I don't know if probably. I don't know if G ten or not. I think it's just like a, a plastic. I could see it was almost, if you look really close, you could see the, like, it's been, like, steps. So, I don't know if that was, maybe they 3D printed them. I don't know if they do that, if that's a thing for manufacturers. But it almost, like, has layers. Like, like it was, like, if you had your own 3D printer, you could make it, uh, has a lanyard hole right there. Looks like you could easily put paracord in it. It's a hollow grind. Uh. I actually have not sharpened it, and it's not too bad out of the box. I mean, I could actually try to show you, but it's not. It slices paper pretty good for for being right out of the box, or the clamshell, I should say. Uh, not too bad of a pickup for ten bucks. I mean, I've got a lot worse for ten bucks. Uh, it's not too bad. Let's let's go some. Uh, I'll give you some. Compar- oh, let's do some not comparisons right now. We'll do the uh, weight and the measure. We'll get our own measurements. Let's get my scale over here. Turn this puppy on. On. So it is four. 0.15 ounces, and I think that's what they, they told me what it was. They said 4.3 ounces, so it's a little lighter. Well, so 4.15. Let's see if it closed, if that makes a difference. 1.415. Let's see, get this out of the way. I don't even know what this is called. It don't really have a. This is forty nine. Oh, it's just designated by the part number. I tried looking it up real quick on Amazon, or I didn't see it. So one oh eight four two eight zero. So I'm not sure. There's no like a uh, Camillus like they all have like they're like that name their knives like there's a Rovax and I don't know if Shrade actually names their knives. So. But you know, let's see, what was I? Oh, I was going to show you uh, the length of it. Let's see. My, let's see. We'll slide this over and up. The tip of the blade to the back of the handle is about eight inches. Kind of cool effect. I don't know what it's showing up on camera. Uh, the actual blade is, it said 3.9. I think it's more three and a half. And tip, I, well, I guess if they're considering this part right here, the uh, if they're considering that part of the blade, which they could, then it could be 3.8, but the blade stops at three and a half. Here, pretty, un, I would say it's not, Everybody, it might be a little big for some people, but I, this is my perfect size. I like, I like just over to three. I, I like um, not quite four inches to uh, three and a half inches. That's my perfect size. I like the blade to be. Let's see, and get the this out. I'm pretty sure it's a not super uh, thick handle. Let's see, we got zero it. Pretty sure it's probably under 0.5 inches. It's nice. Oh, it's 5.49. So it's not too thick of a handle. The blade thickness. Kind of tough, but it's kind of a thin blade. 0.08. Oh, but I got to get it at the spine. So if I go down to the spine, looks like a 0.9. Not overly thick. The lock bar, I don't know, it might be on the thin side, but it's it's almost a, it's like they're almost going for like a, 
fancy carry, gentleman carry. It, it, it really feels nice. But I like it. Backspacer, so it's not like it's not very like wide to be one point eight inches. So let's get me uh some comparisons. Yeah, so it was it was oh that's the wrong one. No, it was originally it said it was originally uh twenty nine dollars. Yeah, so originally twenty nine dollars, and it says discount twenty dollars. You save twenty or discount twenty dollars. You save twenty dollars. So I don't know. It's 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 definitely better your ten dollar knife. I said I don't have a ten dollar knife here, but round. I don't think I have one really close, but it's definitely worth 10 bucks. I don't know if worth $30. It would it would be close to being worth 30 if you did like the only problem I didn't like this how you I had to shave that out so it makes it one open and, and that's one thing I don't like about or didn't like about it but I just guess you modify I modified it for 10 bucks and nothing to lose. All right, so let's I'm going to throw a couple of knives out. Out here is the extra large Natrix by Kershaw. There you can see it's a little bit smaller than that. So, yeah, it's a little smaller than that one. But here's like a, a C C V ah, C V C Z V. I can't say it when I want to. There's a that's Elementa. That's more like I guess. Well, I got that for an anniversary gift for my wife, but I got it. I never did a review on it. But how about that? Look at that. That's a fancy looking knife, but beside the point, but it's a perfect example to show you. I believe it's a three inch blade to uh, see this. I think most people like carrying knives this size right there, but so it makes that one look a little bigger. Let's try this down here. Put all three of these together. And there we go. There's those three. You can see the difference in size. And let's try one more. I'm going to show you this Crescent. I, this was a, actually, I think this was a $10 knife. This Crescent I bought year, oh, a few years ago, a year ago. The Harpoon. This is more of a, this was a really a good knife for the price. But it looks almost the same size. Look at that blade, I, the edge I put on that. You can see that shining. This will have that edge eventually, but this was a really nice. I, I still like this knife. This one drops shut too. And one more thing. Let's see. Yep. So. So. There you go. The no name. Like I said, I don't think Shrades actually have a name, but it's the. Let's see if I can get the number in there for you. This don't focus. I don't know. It should. I said it's the one o eight four two eight o. No name, but if you're near Finn, buy you. Man, if yeah, there's a, a like in Northeast Ohio. There's I think about five or six of them around our house. So it's definitely worth. I'd go out and get nine ninety nine for this. Uh, that's a no brainer for nine ninety nine. Like I said, uh, you might have to. Like I took a, a, a tool and I kind of shaved this down so it actually I can get to that liner lock. And But if you don't mind uh, opening and closing knives, or actually closing the knife with two hands, you can't actually, without that move, you could actually get your thumb in there and actually pull it down. But I just like sweeping my thumb across like that and bringing it down. So, all right. Well, if you like uh, videos like this, knife sharpening, knife reviews and knife unboxings uh some tips that i found on knife stuff uh like share and subscribe to angela's edge and ring that bell see ya bye